This is a vaquita. At 1.5 meters long, it is the world's smallest porpoise. With fewer than 30 individuals left on the planet, it is also the world's most critically endangered marine animal. The vaquita is only found in the upper Gulf of California, and its rapid population decline is primarily connected with illegal fishing for the totuaba, a critically endangered fish whose swim bladder is highly prized in some Asian black markets. What is happening with the vaquita is a really sad situation. Local fishermen are fishing a totuaba, a type of fish that is almost extinct, and the type of nets that they are using has the perfect size for the vaquita to get entangled. So we're talking about uh, an incidental uh, catch or by catch of, of, of the vaquitas. In the small fishing town of San Felipe, Mexico, World Animal Protection and Monterey Bay Diving along with CIRVA, the International Committee for the Recovery of the Vaquita, and a group of local fishers have been trying to save the vaquita by removing illegal gill nets from their marine habitat. From an animal welfare perspective, this is a vital work and a vital contribution from World Animal Protection. We are trying to uh, prevent entanglement of the vaquitas, understanding that that is a, an extreme suffering for the animal and the potential death for, for the species. Using GPS coordinates, a flotilla of 12 small fishing vessels called pangas spreads out about 50 meters apart and systematically drags hooks behind them to snag the illegal nets and mark them with a buoy to be hauled up by the research vessel Narwhal. We are going after those pangas, double checking that the hooks are not missing other, other nets that are left in the sea. The key to this project is the use of a side scan sonar unit operated by Monterey Bay Diving. The sonar unit is towed behind the last panga, where it provides a visual display to the crew so they can ensure the area is entirely clear and no nets are left behind. This second phase of the project is a collaboration between several members of the Global Ghost Gear Initiative, including World Animal Protection, Parley for the Oceans, who is recycling the recovered nets, and World Wildlife Fund, who provided funding for this work to continue. Collaborative projects like this one are helping to give the vaquita a chance to survive.